fan of cauliflower. I can't say that plain cauliflower is, is up there in, my, in the rankings of uh, my favourite foods. However, I have found a really good recipe, which I'm going to share with you now. And all it is, is uh, cauliflower, which I have put into nice, uh, small shaped, equal pieces of cauliflower. I've got the juice of one lemon. And I've got <clears throat> three really nice fat cloves of garlic. Look, that's great garlic, isn't it? So I've got three cloves of garlic. And we have some olive oil. Now, all you do is you get a plastic bag and you pop the garlic in. You pop the lemon juice in. Open the bag so it sits quite nicely. Now, for those of you who are going to say, "Oh, well, look, you've just said a good glug of olive oil," I don't know how much olive oil I need to put in. Uh, by the way, that was a just a whole head of a, a small, medium-sized uh, cauliflower. So I put that scale it goes on my scales and make sure it's not touching. Zero it. And that's 15 fluid ounces, 15 fluid ounces, 15 milligrams of olive oil, which is a tablespoon. And then I'm going to pop in a little bit of salt. Now I quite like Himalayan salt, so this is Himalayan pink salt. A couple of turns of that. And then all we do. Pop it in the bag, seal it, leaving so it's quite a good bit of air in there. And then all you do is turn it around, give it a really good shaking, get it covered, and then it's up to you, you can either put that in the fridge, you can either put that in the fridge um, and just leave it to marinate a little bit, you could, or you can put it straight in the oven, it's up to you. So what we do, what I'm going to do is, what. Um, like I'm preparing for my um, uh, Sunday dinner here, so I've got my potato and my parsnips. I've got my chicken uh, all set and ready to go. And I would just leave this in the bag now until I was ready to do my cooking. But for, this, for, for um, the purposes of the video, what I would then do is then I would, I would open it. And I know you can't see this, but however, I've just got a tray and I've just popped it onto the tray. And then just I just lay them down a little bit so that they look that they're even and you leave some air in between spaces in between so that the air the hot air in the oven can circulate and then I'll put them in the oven and, and I will do that now because the hits now up to temperature so it's 180 degrees pop it in the oven leave it there leave it there for about 25 minutes and then get a nice sharp knife and give them a poke. And when you, when they still feel uh, quite el dente, so they're they're not soft and mushy. And what will happen is, and I'll show you, I'll show you when they come out the oven, they get slightly brown on the edges, and the flavour from the lemon and the garlic just transforms the taste. Now, I like to have it with a roast dinner, but it's equally delicious if you uh, pop them in the fridge and then have them um, as a, you know, with your salad or they're delicious cold, absolutely delicious cold. Some people um, I know that, um, when, say they were going to have them for their roast dinner, 
um, they might just get a little bit of parmesan and just sprinkle it over the top when they're just finishing it off. I personally don't think it needs it, but if you like that little bit, you know, a little bit of cheese, then um, by all means do that. So I'll come back when it's done. Right, as you can hear, 25 minutes is up. Take it out the oven. Right, now, if you can see that, they're nicely golden brown, slightly, slightly catching on the edges, nothing nasty. They are still El Dante. I quite like them only just feeling like they're cooked and don't forget that when you're if you leave these out because they're hot they just are still very slowly uh, cooking down as they cool down so they will get a little bit uh, thing but they are absolutely delicious have to do the obligatory taste test mm. Mm, really lovely what I like is this, the um, the lemon juice has a really nice sharp tang and a kick to it. You get the, the mellowness of the olive oil and um, the uh, and, and the quite gutsy flavour of the um, garlic, and all together that makes a really for a really really delicious delicious um, cauliflower. So I hope you enjoy it and let me know.